Hello and welcome back to Atypical Wealth. I'm Amber Hickman, your South Bay LA realtor, and I'm here today with a super special topic. I know I say that all the time, but really this time, this one's really close to my heart because I'm giving you all the gems and I'm telling you the five things you absolutely have to know before moving to my city, Long Beach, the LBC. Now y'all, I have spent my whole adult life out here in the South Bay, back and forth between the South Bay and LA. I mean, before I knew I was going to be a realtor, I was picking out places for my friends based on where they wanted to live, what kind of vibe they wanted. I, I did it for free because <laughs> that's how much I'm good at it, number one, and that's how much I love it. I love matching the space with the place and the person. So I'm gonna help you out today. If you're thinking about making that move to Long Beach, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, you know we have to do some housekeeping. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, like this video. If you learn one thing from this video that you find super useful for your search or for your nearby search for an LA property, or maybe you're just curious, maybe you're renting in Long Beach, totally fine. Either way, go ahead and support the channel and I'll keep giving you useful information about the South Bay LA area and how to get the most out of it. The first thing you should know about Long Beach is it's not your average beach city. If you're from outside of Southern California, you may have this, I guess, Barbie-like vision of beach cities where they all look the same and there's people rollerblading around and people are just chilling on the sand and the beaches. Well, kinda, sometimes. But let me, let me, let me clarify. Long Beach is known as the last affordable beach city. Okay. It does sit on the coastline. Yes, you do have rollerbladers. Yes, you do have bikers. And you have all that beach fun activity as well. But, you know, there's other areas out here in Southern California that are more known for that beach lounge Barbie vibe that people kind of come to expect from California. Long Beach, I will say, is so much more than its beach. We are not known for our beach. <laughs> okay. Some might even say we have a bad beach, but I think the beach is in the eye of the beholder, right? Um, some things that you contend with when it comes to the coastal area of Long Beach, there's different neighborhoods even within that coastline, right? We have, we have the second street area, we have Mother's Beach, okay? We have an area where people are, you know, going to Whole Foods and then going to the bungalow and then going to Trader Joe's and then, you know, we have that area too and they're going sailing then they're going rowing for sport, right? We have this area, and then we have people that just hang out on the beach, do yoga, right? We have people that are hanging out on the beach, do sound baths. Um, I think the point is people on our beaches are usually doing something. We don't have the bonfire set up. That's more of a Huntington Beach situation. It's not like a, let's lounge all day on the beach. You, people do it, but it's not what we're known for. I mean, you have the Long Beach ports to contend with. Some people don't like that the Long Beach beaches, particularly Alamitos Beach, is so close to one of the biggest ports in the world. It's kind of a downside for a lot of people. On the flip side, you know, it's not as expensive as a lot of other beach cities. It's not a Malibu, it's not a Huntington Beach. It is just more affordable than those places, which is super cool for people that want the city life, want the beach life, but also not the giant price tag that usually comes with it. And hey, even though we're not known for our beaches, there's so much more to do here. So one thing you should know, it's not your average beach city. Another thing you have to know before moving to Long Beach, downtown. It is the place to be. And it's also in a lot of ways, sometimes the place not to be. Let me explain. Okay. so. Downtown Long Beach has some of my favorite restaurants, my favorite coffee shops. I love Thai district. You get some Thai food. They put a really modern twist on classic Thai cuisine. You have coffee shops galore, which I love. I mean, I'm a sucker for an amazing coffee shop and Long Beach is chuck full of them, not just downtown. Um, particularly, I love, not really coffee, but loose leaf boba. If you have not tried loose leaf boba, you need to go. Only downside is they do not let you use the restroom. You could beg, you could plead, you could cry, you could literally just hold your pants and just be jumping in front of them. And they will still tell you, no, you cannot use their bathroom. Not that I know this from experience or anything, but darn it, the boba is so good. 
amazing coffee, food, restaurant, it's all downtown and it's really all walkable. You can walk all of downtown Long Beach in less than two miles, which is pretty amazing. They even have clubs, night spots, all down Pine Street. It is a vibe. It's a lot of fun. One of my favorite spots to go out at whenever I'm actually outside, which is not often, I love going to happy hour at Solita's. I love taking a walk to Shannon's to dance it all out. I mean, it's kind of a regular dive bar situation with a dance floor on top. Let's go. Downtown really is a super fun place to be. That being said, I don't go out that much. So it's, sometimes it's like I'm a daytime downtown girl. All right. But it can be whatever you want it to be. It will transform. The downside to downtown, much like downtown LA, which I've also stayed in downtown LA, homelessness is a huge problem in downtown Long Beach. I will say I haven't had any incidents, any violent incidents or anything like that, but it is just kind of weary and sad to see that we're not protected from that here. Downtown anywhere is sometimes a hard place to stomach if you care about others, but also care about your safety. And as a lady, it's tough to balance sometimes. Like. Do I help? Do I not? Do I keep walking? These are things you have to be mindful of, especially in downtown Long Beach. Besides the beaches, besides downtown and the nightlife, you also have just events galore. Long Beach is a city that I will, I will not lie, it does sleep. It does sleep quite well. By the way, all of LA County somehow just is asleep by 1.30 AM, just done. So the frequency of events, Long Beach is a winner. We always have something going on here. I mean, the first couple years I started really getting into the community events, I, well, I attended a crawfish festival. They've since moved it out of Long Beach, but imagine this, all this Creole food from New Orleans and fried alligator, which I have tried. It was quite interesting. Dancing, I was doing the Cupid shuffle in the middle of the, the lagoon. I mean, it, they have these cultural events that are just amazing. It's just such a good time. And it's nice to be able to experience things like that in your own city. Coming up in just a few days from now, Long Beach is hosting the Day Trip Music Festival featuring Cascade, who I've really only seen in Vegas at my pool parties. Not that I'm there often, but sometimes I used to go. I used to hang, I used to hang with the cool kids. Such a good time. And again, it's just so nice to be able to experience these things super close to home. Earlier this year, we had Cali vibes. Gwen Stefani headlining, and it was literally like, I walked to it, which was really cool. One misconception about LA period is like, oh, you're from LA? Do you know this person? No. Different pockets of LA can be like their own country. Walking to them is so difficult. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? But Long Beach, at least the part where these events are taking place, downtown Long Beach, the beach where these music festivals are happening, I mean, they're they're like walkable to one another. So I will say like, if you really didn't want to, you really don't have to leave. If you wanna go see somebody playing a giant stadium, then yeah, yeah, you gotta hit the 710, drive to LA, not that far, you'll be fine. But it's really cool to be able to experience A-list events like this and to do them well, while walking, which if you're interested in finding those neighborhoods where you'll be able to walk from your condo or from your apartment or from your home to actually do something, let me know. Cause there's way more than just the festivals and the beaches to look forward to. You don't even have to be on the coast to get that same energy, to get that same vibe. I'm Amber Hickman, your South Bay LA realtor. Go ahead subscribe to the channel. It helps me out like this video. If you learn one thing from this video that you find super useful for your search or for your nearby search for an LA property, or maybe you're just curious, maybe you're renting in Long Beach, totally fine. Either way, go ahead and support the channel and I'll keep giving you useful information about the South Bay LA area and how to get the most out of it.